uh, the Craig song, the song about the about the, oh, the guy yeah. that, that hooked you up with the van and stuff. And with the van, at first yeah. you could listen to that just on face value and be like, oh, he's just you know that's a, that's a cute story. But it's like, no, no. When I'm listening to those lyrics, I could tell that really happened. That wasn't just like a yeah. story. That was something. So maybe you could talk to me a little bit about that because like, what, where yeah. were you in your life? Going a little deeper than even the songs. Oh yeah, you know? bro. That 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 um. I don't know how to describe it. Like that's somewhat of a cornerstone of just kind of where we are right now is that song. Uh, I mean, I, I wrote that song about six years ago. And uh, when I met Craig, the song is called Craig for everybody, you know, out there. But uh, I met Craig at this church. I, I despise church. I was like, I hate church. I hate every, I, I hate people that go to church. I mean, this sounds terrible but i'm just being honest with everybody i was like i don't want anywhere near that it was my wife and i's our, our, my wife and my biggest argument because she she was a believer i was not and um craig's wife laura invited us to this church and honestly we were i thought we were past that phase of like church testing and um i was excited that we were like my wife hadn't tried to take us and visit a church for a while, but man, we tried this church out, and uh, it was terrible. I mean, it was crazy. It was out in the woods. There was literally like thirty people there. It was the weirdest. It felt like a cult driving up. I was like, "Dude, we need to call somebody before we get kidnapped." And um, we walked into this church, and Craig was the first guy to shake my hand. He said, "Man, I'm glad you're here." And I, I mean, I couldn't stand the place. I, I, I stood. I was hammered. Um, I was an alcoholic at the time. I was working at Costco mm. from about 4 a.m. to 11. I, I had no reason uh, for anyone to associate with me, and I was fine with it. I mean, I, I did not. Wow. You know, I had been in Nashville 12 years, so about 1,000 people had come up to me and said, hey, bro, what do you do? And I'd be like, man, I'm a songwriter. And then they'd say, well, what, did, what, have, what have you written that I know? And I was like, nothing. And you could see them deflate and be like, oh, you're, you're an aspiring writer, you know? And I'd be like, well, whatever you want to call it, you know, F off, you know? And, uh, but man, Craig shook my hand. He said, bro, I'm glad you're here. But it was weird, man. It's like, he knew, he knew, he knew I hated everything that he believed. He knew I was hammered. Uh, he just knew I thought it was all a crock he knew how just dark of a place we were in, but he was drawn nearer to me, which really baffled me. Cause you know, most people, I mean, look, I'm at a phase of my life then where I'm working in Costco and there are business music, business execs that shop there that would face me and be like, Oh, I used to be on your label and now you're stocking my strawberries and you're, you know, and it was embarrassing. You know, there was, I was embarrassed. Would they for rec- them. I'm sorry to, to interrupt the story here. Cause I don't know, but I just have to ask it, when you're describing that part of it, did they recognize you and you recognize? Oh them? yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. I mean, it, it's, it's funny, you know, this is a, a one defining moment. One night I was playing a show in Puckett's and this kid, um, wanted my autograph and I started talking to him and, he was like, man, I work at Costco in the tire department and I asked him for a job. I mean, I didn't have any money. And wow. so, you know, I, I was I was trying to feed my kids. So, you know, I was embarrassed. Like, here was this kid who was like, I want to be you. And I was like, well, I'll give you my autograph, but will you put in a good word for me yeah. at Costco? Because I need some night work, you know. So I was at a very just low place and uh, you know, still writing, still doing my thing, but I was trying to feed my family cause music wasn't doing it. And, um, but man, like I said, Craig came near to me, like literally just, he was drawn to the broken, you know, and they mm-hmm. fed us. Um, they opened their home to me. Uh, you know, they came to our house, which was not like you, you, you were not, climbing any ladder by coming to my house like our house was nasty it had holes in the sheetrock from baseball so there are kids everywhere it's literally like a nasty chuck e cheese at my house and 
um, you know, they entered the mess and they did life with us. And then one day, um, Craig knew that we were driving. I had known him about four years, but he knew that we just had one car. And Laney and I, when we had our sixth kid, it was crazy, man. We just had this Honda and, but we, everywhere we went, it was dangerous and illegal, you know, like we didn't have enough seatbelts and like a cop would come by and every, we, everybody would dive down in the floorboard to hide. Cause like, I didn't know what else to do. I mean, I, I couldn't pay for a, right. a car. And, and how um, long ago was this real quick, just to paint the picture uh, for people this listening was, at home? Uh, this was probably like seven years ago. Okay. And, um, so Craig, you know, he shows up in my son's baseball game and he gets out of his own minivan and he has the keys and the title. And he's like, he's like, bro, I just want y'all to have this. You know, all you got to do is sign. I've already, I've already figured out the paperwork. And man, I was indignant. I was like, hell no. I was like, I am not. Mr. Handout, I, I, it ain't no way I'm taking your charity. I'm not a project. I don't want your help. And then um, he said something, man. It, cha- it literally changed my life. It, it's, it's the greatest thing anybody's ever said to me. You know, he said, man, somebody did this for me once. Just let me do this for you. And I know it sounds simple as all get out, but here's a man who, who I trust. Which, you know, as a man, see, I don't trust everybody. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm, I, it's, 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 I struggle with trust and, uh, but I trust Craig and here he is saying, look, bro, I've needed help before. It's okay. If you need help, it's okay. If you accept help and man, my heart just, it's soft, like something changed and, um, I could never thank him. I suck at, uh. Just guy to guy. I'm mean, I'm I'm really better at it now, but mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. I got four brothers and I don't know if I've ever looked them in the freaking face and said, Bro, I love you. No, mm-hmm. I really I love you. I appreciate you know, and I definitely didn't really do that enough with my dad. It was always like joking or um, you know, he would make fun of me and that was his way of saying I love you. You know, he'd be like, You need a haircut yeah. and I'd be like I know, Dad. You, you, you love me, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I didn't know how to say thank you. So, man, you know, as a as a create as an artist, you know, you you pick up a notepad and you just start letting it out. And that's what that's what happened with that song, Craig. And what's funny is, man, I wrote that song and I wouldn't even put the name Jesus in it. I was like, man, I no way. I'm gonna use. I'm not like. I'm not even going to give a God the satisfaction of writing his name down. And, um, you know, little did I know, man, now when I sing that song, Craig, I just want to share the love of Jesus so bad. And, and I, and I, and if there's anybody, you know, I also say this every night when I sing it, man, um, I, you can hear my confusion in the song. I go, man, dude, can't Craig can't walk on water. But I swear he might know somebody who did, you know, and that's that's what was going on in my heart. And obviously I'm looking at this guy going, what does he have? Like, what what's he got that I don't? And the only thing I could come up with was Jesus, you know. And um, look, Craig's not perfect and neither am I. But um, now that's my that is my goal is to somehow, you know, get out of my own way and let that message sink in. So I'm really, I'm just so grateful you brought that song up because it's the most important one I, I sing every night. I, it, it is, it's the reason I get on a bus is, mm-hmm. is to share that message. <laughs> 